All right, plumbing time. You got the hot water heater plumbed in. Shut off valve, just in case. Obviously plumbed over the shower. That's going to be my input holes. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, lower radiator fill, or heater tank. Then we got the valves on the water tank. <clears throat> got to plumb all that cold water in. But on the outside, here's the little water thing that's going to sit inside here. I just got to put some uh, sealant around it, put it in place, and screw it down. Have a little bit over the edges. I can cut that away. <clears throat> I don't know if that's level or not, but why start leveling stuff now? I think I'm going to go ahead and put some silicone around it. Okay, so this is, this is what we got so far. You got the shower, cold, and a hot water pipe. Hot water I did pecs, cold water I did this half inch braided line that I already had. Comes down. I've got a valve that turns off water from the pump for some reason. We plugged in and I don't know, I could shut that off if needed. Um, I got a hot water valve here. You got your cold water coming in city, runs down to the hot water tank. And then it runs over to a T that goes up to the shower. Now, the pump comes out of the bottom of the tank, floats up to the strainer, and then pump, acclimator, then back into this valve that can be shut off, and then T's into here. So it should feed here to the hot water and also go up to the shower. Powering up the pump. Alright, power ups was successful. I bled all the lines out. The tank is full, although now I need gas to make it hot. Everything works. Um, there's I seen a water drip here or there, but no major leaks. I'll track that down later. The shower worked like it was supposed to flawlessly. And um, our black tank. I opened it up and all the water came out so that was good now the next thing to do is hook up city water and see how that works